Wow, look at the size of this. Yep, it's a whopper, all right. <laughs> hey, what's up? Welcome to Unbox the Miss Prime, and today we have something very special. We have Cybertron from Transformers The Last Night. So quick little recap, we haven't been around for a while because it's been very difficult to get our hands on any of the Transformers toys. This wave seems to have been a dud. It has been basically a puddle, not even a wave. So we were lucky enough to get our hands on this a little early. Uh, this is a Toys R Us exclusive, and uh, we're going to take a quick look at it. Okay, so as per usual, let's take a look at the box. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate that much. Very welcome. Okay, so I'm not even going to move the camera out of the way because this box is massive, as you can see. So I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer. So we have Cybertron from Transformers The Last Night, ages 8 and up from Hasbro. Uh, it's got sound and lights, which is really interesting. We haven't even heard the full sound effect. If we go up the side here, we have Transformers on what looks to be a sword of some sort, and I've never mentioned that in any video, as long as... Uh, Cybertronian hieroglyphs. Uh, Toys R Us exclusive, only at Toys R Us, which is really cool. Uh, it says Mission to Cybertron with an Autobot logo on top and a picture of Cybertron right there. As well as Cybertron in the background is usually depicted in all the movies. We turn to the side here, flip it over for you. Pretty much just have Cybertronian hieroglyphs as well as Cybertron in the background as depicted in the movie once again. We take a look at the back. I'm going to readjust here. You can see part of the wall there. That's okay. We have Cybertron in all his glory, which is really nice. This thing is absolutely massive. It's really big. Pretty much what you see on the box here is not even comparable to what it actually looks like. Yeah, it's pretty much the same size, but uh, it's still really, really big. So it takes about 18 steps to transform him, as it says right there. Uh, shows different uh, photos of him here. We have a picture of the key that actually comes with the key, which is really cool. We'll explain what that does when we get into the figure itself. As well as lights and sounds. Let's get that into focus there. His eyes light up and he makes uh, all sorts of sounds and stuff. Uh, there's different forms. You pretty much have Cybertron itself there. Uh, that's pretty much part of the transformation right there. And this is an alternate transformation right here. Kind of almost looks like a tank, if you want to say, which is really cool. And if we take a look at the top of the box here, let me flip this around. Pretty much uh, Autobot logo with Cybertron there and uh, Cybertron pieces in the background, as well as nice picture there of Optimus and Megatron fighting. Here's an actual better picture of it. Let me get it into focus here. There we go. Nice little picture of Optimus and Megatron fighting on Cybertron with the Earth in the background. So that is awesome. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, kids and boys and girls and cats and dogs, let's get to the main figure itself. Okay, so first off, before we get into the figure itself, let's take a look at some of the accessories that came in the box. Thank you, Jim. You're welcome. So here we have uh, some missiles, as well as exclusive cards that come with only the Toys R Us exclusives, which I think if you put them together, they'll create a nice little scene, as well as the instruction booklet in the background there. So nothing really cool about that. Well, I mean, it is cool. Can't go wrong with that. Look, look at these cards. That's, that's cool. OK. So here we also have the key to transform Cybertron. Let's get a little closer into that. This key itself actually transforms the entire figure, which is really cool. There's also another little key that comes with it as well that also transforms him. So we're going to get to that in one second, but first, let's get into the figure itself. Okay, so here we have Cybertron in planet mode, and I must say this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a lot of weight to it too, so this thing is made out of like really dense plastic, so there's a lot to it. And it I just can't really describe it. Here, let's orbit the planet. We have a lot of cool stuff going on. And this thing is pretty much like an oversized watermelon. Or an oversized baby watermelon. We got the cities. Oh yeah, that's right. We got cities. So we got a lot of cities going around here. Let's let's start at the top. 
we could take a look at that. Let me get into to focus. There we go. What do we got, Jim? We got the towers. Yeah, we got all I the towers. I believe you here. have icon. And if you spin that around, well, maybe not upside down. Yeah, spin it around. <laughs> and I believe that should be a can. Ah, oh, very nice. Very nice. Nicely detailed. Especially in the crater here. I don't know if you guys can pick it up there, but there's a lot of great scratch marks going on in there as if it was impacted. So they did a really nice job with that. It's pretty much like a remold of the old Primus. That's right. Um, if you, I really dig this color scheme, though. This color scheme is very nice, especially for more of a new age to Transformers. I remember the original one being more of like a grayish blue or like a whitish gray blue, which kind of seems very retro to me. So most toys always had that like white gray tinge to it. Um, but this is very nice and it pops too very nicely. And it literally pops. And it lit literally pops as well. We can't wait to get to that part. Show a little what he does. Yeah, so uh, that's right. Let's, uh, let's take a look at uh, what he does. Are we in focus here? I will focus for you, my friend. Okay, inside. Ooh. Ba bam. Nice. Little transformation. That is really cool. If we want, let's, let's take a closer look at this. Here we go. So we basically just pop these missiles out here. These little cannons. You can actually see his hands uh, sticking out. Yeah, uh, you can see his hands here sticking out. That's that's. I don't know. To me, that doesn't really bother me. It almost kind of looks like it's still part of the planet. No, they're hidden well enough. It's yeah. not a huge deal. I don't know. What else, Jim? Uh, let's pop these guys back in. Yes. We'll figure out which way. Yes, it's onto the transformation. Ooh, this is going to be the fun part. So hang tight, people. As usual, let's get into transformation mode. Okay, so I'm going to get him transformed. If I make a mistake, it's tough. Tough. It's on YouTube. Okay, so I'll put the key in. should light up. Ooh. Now, that requires like a watch battery. but It comes with it, but the double A's don't come in. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So this is cannons flip out of the front. Nice little sound effect. I think we should be able to remove the key. Then we're gonna flip these up. Okay, come around to the back. We still in focus? Yeah, we're still in focus. Okay, flip this up. I'm sure I've only transformed them a couple of times, so if I'm doing something different than the instructions, you're welcome to sue me. <laughs> I think I will. I can use a few bucks. I still can't get over the fact that you need a key to transform him. That's that's pretty cool. I don't know if you can physically like transform parts of him without. Well, obviously the legs and stuff, but like the sides and the bits you'll see in a moment. Um, I'm not sure if you lost the key. If you could still do it, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, if you lose the key, you could probably just 3D print one. Yeah. You got a $5,000 3D printer lying around. I'll just buy a spare off eBay. There you go. I think I, think I should have brought these legs down first. Because you got to rotate the waist. I'm, like, making a bad job of this. I'm sorry. Eh, it's all right. This is a huge undertaking. Now, okay, so, there we go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just imagine if Hollywood had to actually transform this guy. That would take some serious render times. Okay, what are we up to? Okay, so, bring the legs down here. Oh. The feet. Uh, this is another part now with the um, transformation. You can see that? Yep. Just rotate. And the cannons come out of the bottom, and then he flips around. Same again. This is kind of hard to do from the side. But again. Wow, I'm making this look really hard. I'm sorry, people. 
It's all good. I felt bad for the guy that had to design this. <laughs> okay, so. Almost there. Getting tall. It's very nice. Okay. And then. I believe. Whoa! That is awesome. Does that make sound? Then you gotta flip these down. Cannons on the shoulders. I don't think it just makes a sound any at all. Then use the key. We'll flip out his cannons. Bring his hands down. And it's cool. He actually has all articulated fingers. You don't usually see that in many Transformers. Um, no, Unicron. A um, few of the masterpieces. So, yeah, he's got these little, like, pincers that come out of his arms. Uh, they don't come out too easy. Um... I don't know if I even want to bring them out, but yeah, you get the idea. These little rubber arms that kind of pop out. Uh, set those back in. Awesome. That is very cool. I just, I still can't get over the fact that you need a key. That, that is like the best thing ever is the key. Like the key to life almost. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if you, yeah, I don't even know if it would work without it. I don't want to like try too much. I mean, I think these things you could spin. Um, but like these parts and the top, yeah, know, it, it looks like it almost must require it. I'm not sure. Yeah, either which way, I, I still think it's amazing. But um, as per usual, let's uh, let's get reset here and uh, take a look. Okay, and we're back. And as per usual, I can never ever go without saying that this thing is fantastic. Uh, one thing I definitely want to start mentioning is the color scheme. It just works so well. You got the nice orange. You even got like a gradient orange here that goes into almost like a yellow or a light orange. And the black and purple really pretty much accent it very nicely. So we're staring at his crotch right now. And we'll start there. So there's a lot of nice molded detail going in on over here. Especially in the side that's usually hidden by the arm. And lift the arm up there. You can stare into his pits. It's a lot of nice, a lot of nice shapes and contours going on down in here, as well as in the hip here. There's like a nice. It's pretty much like one of those clicky joints, and it pretty much looks like a gear, which I always find really cool on a transformer. It makes it look a little more authentic. Let's bring his arm down there. You hear that nice click? It's really nice. We'll go over articulation in a moment. We have the one of the cannons over here. Really cool. Nice coloring with the black and the yellow. Makes it almost look like a bumblebee. So he's ready to sting at a moment's notice. Let's take a look. A not, lot of nice detail in here as well. Very nicely molded. Especially up here. On here. The fingers. Well, again, with articulation we'll go over that, but the fingers are actually separate. Let's flip them around to the back here. Kibble. Kibble! So there's not much to talk about the back of Cybertron here. It's pretty much just the top of the planet. You have the towers that go all around up here, and this is pretty much like the top of the planet right there. Uh, we have the speaker for the sound effects that are right here. And there's also just a little flap at the bottom there with one of the cities. So let's take a look at the head mold here, and I'm really, really digging this. It looks just like a G1 Transformer. Pretty much most of any of the Michael Bay ones are always very angular or now becoming more human-like with Transformers The Last Night. As well as Age, Age of Extinction, they pretty much started becoming a little more solid. But this has a lot of the nice sharp contours that go around up here. A lot of the blocky look from the original G1s, which I really like. He almost has the shape of like Optimus Prime's head, but he has more of a humanoid face, which is actually fantastic to look at. Okay, so I'm going to flip the guns back so we can take another look at the side of the head here. We can give him a little turn. Nice little detail going on in here. This almost looks like Cybertronian hieroglyph right there. And you can still see the uh, similarities with Optimus's head, but I actually think this is better. This, this guy looks like he's a boss and he means business when somebody messes with him. That's really nice. 
take a look at that. Nice light little blue accent that's right up here in the middle of the forehead. I like that. And just that face. That face is beautiful. You're beautiful. That's horrible. Sorry. All right, so let's go over articulation. Uh, let's start from the top down. So the head has a little swivel to it, not much. Just a little there and just a little that way. So, you know, no. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the arms and elbows are all on hinge joints, so, and the shoulder as well, so that's hinge joint there, and a hinge joint there, and that nice click sound, you know it's rock solid. So the fingers also have articulation, which is probably like the coolest thing on this transformer. So if I bring his fingers out to here, you can see they're all pretty much individually articulated. Which is really cool. So you can get them into pretty neat poses. So I'll put them back in fist punch mode. So there's also a hinge joint in the hip, as well as in the kneecap. There's a slight little hinge joint. But it's best to keep them standing up just like that. So also right below the elbow, there's also another little swivel joint like that, which is really cool. Come at me, bro. So all in all, this is a rock solid piece. And uh, again, the clicking sounds let you know that it's really good. So overall final thoughts on this, it is amazing. Like it's rock solid. Uh, it pretty much represents the G1 series pretty well, since we have all the Bay Transformers coming out. This thing is really hard to get. We're not even sure if it's even out yet. Uh, we were able to pick it up. Well, James over here that's been helping out uh, has been able to pick it up. And it's very expensive. It's 150 US dollars at this time of this video. So I yeah, definitely suggest you save your pennies, mow the lawn, do the dishes, pick up your dog's poop, make money somehow and definitely get one of these. This is totally worth it. So as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Please leave a comment and subscribe. Uh, again, we've been away for a while, but we got so much more on the way. So we look forward to doing that for you guys. So as always, we will see you in the next one. I have big hands too. So, I mean, if you could see this thing actually in my hand, this thing is massive. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the video, by the way.